Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I've got quite a lot of information to throw at you guys, and I myself have not gotten to dabble in everything that uh, Skyforge has with this new update. Um, so I'm gonna just lay down the line. So if anything in here interests you, you know, make sure you guys check it out because there's a lot of really, really, really cool things. So. First off, this is the new patch that came over from Russia. I don't know exactly 100% what it was called. I believe it's called Alien's Call. And it has, just, just to run you guys down some new updates, we've got the catch-up system introduced, which I'll go, in, I'll go, I'll go into more uh, detail on each one here shortly. But we've got the catch-up system for new players. We've got new Atlas nodes, um, along with more Atlas nodes, so we have like more stacks of Mark of Death, etc., etc. We have a new atlas called the Invasion Atlas, Racing Event, which is something that's kind of cool and kind of not cool at the same way. Um, distortions are coming in at high prestige. We've got loot scaling, meaning your high level friends can run you through low level dungeons or even help you with anomalies and they'll still get credit now. Along with uh, the sound bug, if you guys were familiar with it before, how if you play your Skyforge sound, your frame rate would tank. Well, they fixed that now, so pretty much everyone's frame rate actually improved. And one really cool thing is sometimes when you'd mass pull in Skyforge, you'd have like these crazy big, you know, frame rate drops because of all the animations. They've now, I don't know exactly how they did it, but everything kind of goes robotic on the monster sides just to make sure that your frame rate is keeping, you know, at a decent pace. So overall, there's quite a few things and there's probably even more stuff. You know, I couldn't catch everything at once. Uh, for example, there's one other thing, uh, where is it? If you look at the marketplace, you look at the invasions, you can actually buy higher tier quality health potions uh, without spending any money anymore whatsoever. Oh, I forgot one more thing. How, how could I forget the most important thing at all? Cores are now actually... Anyone who spent uh, Argents on cores, all cores have been refunded. If you press F9 when you log into the game, you'll get all your Argents back for your cores. And instead, they introduced something called the Vector System. And that's where we're going to start right here as you can see so also they've done a bit of graphic updates to pretty much everything uh, you can see like the creation destruction and balance each look different um, if I were to go to my class sparks here you can see credits look different now class sparks look like your classes now so they've done some a little bit of visual updates as well which is really cool but let's talk about the new vector system which introduces the cores and I'm only gonna spend a little bit of time on each topic because there's so many I can't really go over everything but uh, just to give you guys an idea you know I haven't played Skyforge in about a week I was getting a little bored I wanted to see some new content and you know what one thing Skyforge uh, publishers are really good at doing is keeping up with the content you know they work their asses off making sure once it's out in Russia to get it as soon as possible beamed over to us here which I think is is really really good most games you know it takes them months to a year before they can actually get something out so without further ado boys let's get into the vector system let me just make sure this isn't too loud that's a little too loud all right we're good so the vector system how do you play this game again? Okay, we got it. Now, the vector system is a new system where you basically have vectors of destruction, creation, and balance. And there's seven of each one, alright? So, if I were to go to destruction, for example, and you click it, you can see where all the destruction ones are located. Now, it doesn't take anything to unlock them, you just click to unlock it, and that's it, right? So, the way this works now is... You actually have to pick up the um, you pick up the little node. So say destruction. You choose how you want to scale it, whether your might, strength, luck, uh, valor, etc. Right. So you pick your main stat, um, and then you obviously you're going to get might for this one. Now vector of creation is going to be stamina plus the stat of your desire. Balance, I believe, is might, and then it globally gives you to all your stats. I could be wrong there, but you know, like luck, strength spirit uh, valor etc so let's start with uh destruction to explain it so now you actually have cores that you farm there's two different types of cores there are cash shop cores which means you can buy them if you want 
uh, and they're five times cheaper to insert, which makes no difference. And then you have your regular ether cores. So the only point you would get by buying ether cores here is by bypassing your credit cap, which is going to catch up to at any point, I believe. So they're adding a little bit more incentive if you want to put some money into the game. You can get slight advantages. I don't see this being really that big of a deal, though, because you can you just got to devote your credits towards it. That's all. Um, so ether cores also can be found in dungeons now as well. You can pretty much find ether cores all over the place, which is really cool. Because um, previously, if you wanted to efficiently crap your credits, crap your credits, cap your credits, you wouldn't pick up white loot, and it would be it would suck because you'd like never see greens. Well, now the same thing would apply, um, but except you're getting ether cores as well, so you're not just getting pretty much nothing. I really, really, really wish Skyforge would implement an option to disable the, the ability to gain credits, like a, like a box. You can just be like, I don't want credits anymore, and you can take it off whenever you want. Uh, just because I think it's still really silly for people like who want to min-max the game to not pick up certain loot. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, it, it's that's ruining gameplay in a way. So I really feel like instead of just min-maxing, because this is a global benefit to everyone, just allow an option that disables the game, the ability to gain credits. So anyway, the way this is gonna work is you've got um, you've got might as your main stat and strength as your sub stat. This is how it was explained. So again, some things may be incorrect, so I do apologize. But basically, you upgrade, um, you upgrade them, and then when you get to your rank and you upgrade. Uh, that's where you get a big chunk of your stats. Now, as you're doing this, for each one that you have unlocked, you gain extra, you gain however much might you had on the first one to all of them. So the might is like shared between each bubble. But the strength is just, is only on the upgrade bonus. So, if, you, if you're getting 700 might from one, that's 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, that's 4,900 if you have all of them unlocked. Same thing with, you know, balance, or sorry, balance is a little different because it's, it's pure stats. Um, and creation would be with stamina. And then you would just get, you know, however much, seven you just get like 700 uh, of your substat, which would be strength. So this is really cool. It adds a new incentive. It adds kind of like a little bit new to the game of how you would normally play. So I, I was excited to see that. So that's off the list. Next up, we're going to talk about the catch-up system, which I can't unfortunately show you because I don't need to catch up to anyone. But the way the catch-up system works is I cannot give you, again, 100% on everything. But I was told that the way it works is if you look here, I've got, like, for example, these are the invasion currencies that are popping up. You know, I've got my anomalies there. I've got holy text here. We've got, uh, what else? My silver pommel right here on squad. You would get a new thing that would pop up, right? And what it does is it will add to your maximum cap. So instead of getting, not instead of getting, but you just have an additional thing. So say you're running it and you have, uh, let's look at squad, Oki Island. Your Oki Island could have some weird symbol by it. And basically what that symbol would be is it'll say like sparks of, of evolution increase by 1,800. You're not actually getting 1,800. It's, in, it's allowing you to gain 1,800 more uh, of that type. And I thought that was, that's really cool because it still make, it means you got to work for it. But it's giving you the ability to just, you know, keep on going and going and going. Alright, next up, new Atlas nodes. I probably should have done this before is what happens when you just wake up, guys. Alright, so, if I were to press K, is it K? Here we go, symbols. There are a lot of new symbols that came out. If you look, um, yeah, this is a lot bigger than it was before. So, basically, there's... A new atlas that I was telling you guys about, which is the Invasion Atlas, and the Invasion Atlas has new stats on it, which is really, 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 really cool. So that's one thing that was introduced. You can see there's there's like a whole bunch of new stuff, um, and I'm you know I'm really excited because it's just adding it's adding more depth and more progression to the game. I actually never even saw this thing, so uh, so this is really, really, really cool. Next up, if you go to the Divine Atlas. Uh, let's take a look at this really fast. In the Divine Atlas yourself, you actually have uh, additional nodes now. So, for example, there used to be just one Mark of Death. And I was scanning this and I saw another Mark of Death here somewhere. Was it here? No, no, I think I know there's one here. There you go. There's like an extra Mark of Death. You have like extra Warrior Creed or Warriors. Warrior of Creed. Warrior Creed, is it? Is it right um, here? Yeah, Warrior's Creed. So they've got an, a, an abundance of, of additional ones incorporated onto the Atlas as well. 
which again makes it so much cooler if you're whether you're tanking or going DPS you're given even more customization as to how you want to do it and then there's the invasion atlas now unfortunately I cannot show you the invasion atlas as I haven't really gotten to do much yet as I'm really excited to play I'll be playing Skyforge all day today uh, if you guys are seeing this video all right so we've got uh, let's see where is it again we've got a new one called here we go so we've got the victor's medals which I just showed you guys and then you've got pretty much every every uh, mobs race so you've got gorgon gorgon eye tokens I don't know what the sparks are so there's you basically have tokens and sparks I don't remember too much about it but essentially if you run a dungeon for that type um, so say you run a mechanoid dungeon uh, you get you get like the currency for it and when you get enough of that currency you unlock the invasion atlas and then I think you also deal more damage to those types of mobs specifically again next up is one thing that I know the community has not been very happy of or happy about which is not this one this is another one to show you guys which is like this this racing event so this racing event is kind of pay to win from what people have expressed to me uh, which basically you you send out an adept and he goes and he goes vroom vroom and he races and it takes eight hours or you can speed it up immediately with Argents and um, basically this is how you get dual specs which I think is kind of stupid so um, to get 150 I was told it takes pretty much almost like perfection like to log in three times a day every eight hours to do it um, and then you can end up getting your second set of abilities but for people who put in like 30 to 50 dollars into it I end up gonna get third and fourth set of abilities along with a quicker mount which I don't really like uh, but you know I'm here to tell you guys the good and the bad you know so that's this is one thing that uh, that's not I'm not too happy about it but you know that's life right I guess on the bright side you do get like 200 of these special regeneration substrates no matter what you do which is 200 health pots which is equivalent to like 400k Argents because these ones are so good next up distortions come out at about 66 or 68k prestige which will allow you to get purple weapons the new invasion is coming so we were on the finitides the plant ones were getting swapped over to mechanoids um, and then you've got pretty much it yeah we talked about the loot scaling so people can help you the sound bug and the FPS with max pulls so that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of some things that are already they just got beamed in I believe like maybe 30 hours ago so I'm really excited to check it all out and again, I'll be streaming probably three hours after this video is uploaded. I'd like to do like at least like an, a good solid eight hour stream to see if I can catch up with my buddies. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, if you liked it, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can always catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, this music is by Vinsvept. I listen to them all the time. And uh, again, take care, everybody.